जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल मस्ट बी हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड सेफ एट होम इट्स अ लॉन्ग आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू इंटरेक्ट एंड आई मस्ट बी वेरी थैंकफुल टू दिस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया थ्रू विच वी आर एबल टू इंटरेक्ट इवन इन दिस टफ कंडीशन टूडे आई डिसाइडेड टू लेट मी टू हैव अ चैप्टर डिस्कस विद यू एंड दैट इज डेज this database chapter is one of the chapter in class 11 and as well as in class 12 i'll cover the every points of the class 11 for the new students who will be there in the class 11 and as well as it will benefit it for the class 12 that who already promoted to the 12th class now database is basically the combination of two word as you can see data and base data is basically raw facts and figure that we store in our computer for some sake some purpose and the base is collection of it it means database is a huge collection of data about any topic or entity that you store in your computer for any purpose data is very crucial without data if i say we cannot move a bits i hope i am very right for example if i am not knowing the impact of the corona what will happen if i am not knowing the which area is affected by corona the what will happen with you that you can easily understand so data is very crucial and important for us and to maintain the data is more important since data is important that's why we have need of a soft database and to maintain the database we have need of a software that is called dbms database management system software the full form of it i am writing here database management system software so dbms is a software which helps us to manage the database of any kind and to maintain the data we have need of a database that we came to do now my sequel is one of the chapter in class 11 as well as in class 12 in class 11 it's a my sequel and in class 12 it's a my sequel revision 2 i have written my and sql but i am reading it my sequel the pronunciation of s in american accent is a c that's why is a my sequel so you may read it my sequel you may write my sql we have a sequel from the oracle sorry microsoft then we have a cybase we have informix we have oracle this all are the examples of rdbms software rdbms relational database management system software relational database management system software or simply you can say relational database management software rdbms help us to manage the database relationally and database management system help us to manage the database may be linked may not be linked but once we talk about the rdbms it's a software which help us to manage the database where we have more one table and they all are linked on the basis of a common fit that's what's called relational database management system now one word here i would like to highlight relational now what is relation or you may say relation now this is one of the question may raised from this chapter what is relation in relational database management system association among the table association among the table or table in the database tables in database is called relation so i hope you got the point relation association among the table in a database or table itself in a database is called a relation and that's why it's called relation database management system there are certain key points key points or words that we use frequently in this chapter 
One of that is table. Table is a prime object in database where we store data. Table is a prime object in database where we store data. It's the actual container of data in database. Then we have a tuple, a record or row in a table is called tuple. Then we have a corollary. Corollary is a number of tuples or tuples in a table is known as corollary. Then we have a degree. Number of attributes in a table is called degree or you may say number of columns in a table is called degree. Let me to rub it to find some space for the further again points. We have a word maybe key. Important fields in a table is called key. We have also primary key. Primary key is such important key of field in a table which help us to identify the unique record from the database. Primary key is such important key or a combination of keys in a table which help us to uniquely identify the record from database. We have alternate key. Now alternate key is a key that led with us from the candidate after declaring the primary key. We may have a candidate key also. Candidate key. Candidate keys are the keys or simply a column. All columns which can be a primary but haven't considered are candidate. Once we declared a key as a primary out of the candidate, rest of the field are called alternate key with us. We have a foreign key. Foreign key is a non-primary key in a table linked with the primary key of other table to maintain the reference and integrity of the database. That's all. I'll continue for the next day with the rest of the topic of this chapter. Thank you.